This is a four bedroom house in the Chalaladirai area. Uh, one of the most sought after residential area going for sale. Yes, four bedroom house, $55,000 or 1.1 1 .1 million kwacha. Yes, so what's up? Uh, me to get details about this beautiful house affordable house i can tell you that from experience this beautiful property four bedroom house guess how much is going for one million one hundred thousand kwacha fifty five thousand dollars fifty five thousand dollars this is your house Four bedroom house here in Chalala. Give me a call right now. And this segment, they are going to do a display of animals. Guys, this is what uh, prides themselves in it is uh, no, the, the highest number hey, no, no, no. especially here in Monse, no, 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 no. it is it is this built no, no, no. of animals no, no, no. the biggest population no, no, no. in Zambia now take a look at animals coming no, 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 no. Understands animals more than any other tribe here. So, my name is Trevor Tenement. As you can see, my t-shirt, uh, Zambezi seed, uh, has given me this t-shirt. Yes, you can see a multitude. A lot of people around this place, guys. A lot of people. It has been a very interesting ceremony. Very interesting, guys. It's my first time. I hope you now understand what Zambia Momba means. <laughs> Ambassador Nicholas Wooly also impressed with the animals. Take a look, he's also trying to film. He came out from his guest of honor seat because this really fascinated him. He's also filming.
I can see the British High Commissioner Nicholas Woolley is so excited with the display of animals and someone has offered him some land that he should also do some agriculture this year in this place and he's also been given some seed so he has received some royal welcome in this place. <laughs> no, thank you for the honorable who have given a land. If you are a farmer, you can go and get, then he give you a land, you plant more food at your home, no more hunger. <laughs> I can also add my voice. Uh, we enjoyed being here. Uh, this is what we call cultural heritage. Uh, we need to be authentic, yes. not contemporary. We need to make sure that our culture not just got history that is rich and it is preserved. Yes, thank you so much. So the Tongas are so proud of keeping cows or cattle, they are cattle farmers biggest in the whole Zambia, they come from here. So they are displaying, this is how they manage to sponsor Kaunda, Mwanga, Nkumkula, Simon Mwasakapepe, who went to Lancaster House to negotiate with the British government to collect a white paper which guaranteed Zambia's independence. Is it a group of animals? Okay, a head of animals, of more cattle is about to enter with their shepherd. So Tongas are so proud of animals. Watch it. You said this. <laughs> farmers. Remember the biggest animal population in Zambia comes Again, take a look at the British High Commission. Look, he's squatting. <laughs> he's there taking the best shot, making videos, making photos of these animals. There, there is going back now. Nicholas Remember the Tongas in this land are popular for cattle rearing, they are, that is their pride. Even when they were sending the first delegation for independence uh, to go and negotiate or to collect the white paper in Britain, there were donations of animals. Take a look. Big 